Why are there not more people talking about Earth's fiery beginnings? Look around you. Feel the gentle breeze, the warmth of the sun on your skin. The serene beauty of our world is a daily reminder of the delicate balance that sustains life. The rustling leaves, the chirping birds, and the flowing rivers all paint a picture of tranquility. But this calm exterior hides a tumultuous past. Our Earth seems like a peaceful haven, a place where life thrives in harmony with nature. From the highest mountains to the deepest oceans, every corner of our planet tells a story of peace and serenity. Yet, this peaceful facade is the result of billions of years of violent and dramatic transformations. But beneath this tranquility lies a story of unimaginable violence and drama. The ground beneath our feet was once a molten sea of lava, constantly reshaped by volcanic eruptions and tectonic shifts. These cataclysmic events were the crucible in which our planet was forged. Our planet, a blue oasis teeming with life, was once a fiery molten hell. Imagine a world where the sky was filled with ash and the ground was a churning mass of molten rock. This was Earth in its infancy, a far cry from the lush landscapes we see today. Its journey, from a swirling cloud of dust to the life-sustaining world we know, is a testament to the universe's awe-inspiring power and the elegant dance of cosmic evolution. The formation of our planet was a complex process, involving countless collisions and accretions, each one contributing to the Earth we now call home. Imagine a time when our planet was a cauldron of molten rock, its surface a sea of fire. The heat was so intense that it would have been impossible for any form of life to exist. Yet from this fiery beginning, the building blocks of life were slowly assembled. It's hard to believe that this fiery inferno would eventually give rise to the serene landscapes we cherish today. The transformation was gradual, shaped by countless natural processes over eons. Volcanic eruptions gave way to cooling periods, and the first oceans began to form. The story of Earth is a tale of extremes, of fiery beginnings and icy embers, of catastrophic extinctions and the tenacious grip of life. Ice ages came and went, each one sculpting the planet in new ways. Life, in its many forms, adapted and evolved, finding ways to survive even in the harshest conditions. It's a story that stretches back billions of years, a timescale almost impossible for our human minds to grasp. From the formation of the first continents to the rise of complex life forms, every chapter in Earth's history is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. Yet, it's a story that continues to unfold today, a story that we are all a part of. Every day, new discoveries are made that shed light on our planet's past and help us understand its future. We are the latest chapter in this ongoing saga, and our actions will shape the next. So buckle up, fellow travelers, as we embark on a journey through time, a journey back to the very birth of our planet, to witness Earth's epic transformation. From its fiery beginnings to the present day, we will explore the forces that have shaped our world and continue to influence it. This is the story of Earth, a tranquil sphere forged in fire. Our story begins not on Earth, but in the vast expanse of space billions of years ago. Imagine a time when the universe was still young, a place where stars were being born and dying in a cosmic dance of creation and destruction. It was a time of immense energy and potential, where the building blocks of everything we know were scattered across the cosmos. Imagine a swirling cloud of gas and dust, the remnants of long dead stars drifting through the cosmos. This cloud, known as a nebula, was a vast and colorful expanse filled with the raw materials needed to create new stars and planets. It was a place of both beauty and mystery, where the forces of nature were at work shaping the future of our universe. This nebula, vast and cold, held the seeds of our solar system. Within its depths, tiny particles of dust and gas floated in a delicate balance, waiting for the right conditions to come together and form something new. It was a place of potential, where the future of our sun and planets was being written in the stars. Then, an event of unimaginable power occurred. A nearby star, having reached the end of its life, exploded in a supernova, sending shockwaves rippling through the cosmos. This explosion was a cataclysmic event, releasing more energy in a single moment than our sun will produce in its entire lifetime. A nearby star, having reached the end of its life, 
exploded in a supernova, sending shockwaves rippling through the cosmos. These shockwaves traveled through the vastness of space, carrying with them the energy needed to spark new life. They were like a cosmic wake-up call, shaking the nebula out of its slumber and setting the stage for the birth of our sun. These shockwaves, reaching our tranquil nebula, compressed the gas and dust, igniting a cosmic furnace. The once calm and cold nebula was now a hotbed of activity, with particles colliding and fusing together under the immense pressure. It was a chaotic and violent process, but one that was necessary for the creation of new stars. Gravity, the architect of the universe, took hold. This invisible force which governs the motion of everything in the cosmos began to pull the gas and dust together. It was a slow and steady process, but one that would ultimately lead to the formation of our sun. Gravity is the force that binds the universe together, and it was now at work, shaping the future of our solar system. The compressed gas and dust, drawn together by their own gravitational pull, began to spin faster and faster, growing hotter and denser. This spinning motion caused the material to flatten into a disk, with the center becoming increasingly hot and dense. It was in this central region that the conditions were just right for nuclear fusion to begin, marking the birth of a new star. At the heart of this maelstrom, a star was born, our sun. This new star, formed from the remnants of long-dead stars, was now a blazing ball of hydrogen and helium. It was a moment of triumph, the culmination of billions of years of cosmic evolution. Our sun, the center of our solar system, was now shining brightly, ready to give life to the planets that would soon form around it. The newborn sun, a blazing ball of hydrogen and helium, bathed its surroundings in light and heat. This energy would go on to shape the future of our solar system, providing the warmth and light needed for life to eventually develop on Earth. The birth of our sun was a pivotal moment in the history of the universe, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the story of our cosmos. This marked a pivotal moment in the story of our solar system, setting the stage for the formation of planets, including our own Earth. The material left over from the formation of the Sun began to coalesce into smaller bodies, eventually forming the planets, moons, and other objects that make up our solar system. It was a time of great change and transformation as the building blocks of our world came together to create the diverse and dynamic system we see today. While our sun blazed to life, the remnants of the nebula continued to swirl around it. This nebula, a vast cloud of gas and dust, was the birthplace of our solar system. As the sun ignited, its powerful gravitational pull began to shape the surrounding material, drawing it into a flattened, spinning disk. Within this disk, countless particles of dust and gas began to interact, setting the stage for the formation of planets. Dust grains, drawn together by electrostatic forces, clumped together, forming larger and larger bodies. These tiny particles, no larger than grains of sand, collided and stuck together, gradually building up into pebbles, rocks, and eventually, sizable chunks of matter. This process, known as accretion, was the first step in the creation of the planets. These were the seeds of planets, planetesimals, engaged in a chaotic dance of collisions and growth. Each collision, though violent, contributed to the growth of these bodies. Over time, these planetesimals grew larger and more complex, their gravitational fields becoming stronger, pulling in more material and increasing their mass. Over millions of years, these planetesimals, drawn together by gravity, coalesced into the planets we know today. This process was slow and tumultuous, with countless collisions and mergers shaping the young planets. The early solar system was a dynamic and ever-changing environment, with new worlds constantly forming and evolving. Among them was Earth, a young planet still finding its place in the solar system. In its infancy, Earth was a molten, hostile world, its surface constantly reshaped by volcanic activity and impacts from other celestial bodies. Despite this chaotic beginning, Earth was on a path to becoming the vibrant, life-sustaining planet we know today. But Earth's journey was far from over. The young planet faced many more challenges and transformations before it could support life. One of the most significant events in Earth's history was yet to come, an event that would forever alter its destiny. In a cataclysmic event that would shape our planet's destiny, a Mars-sized object, 
another young planet on a collision course slammed into the still molten Earth. This colossal impact was so powerful that it not only reshaped Earth's surface, but also had profound effects on its internal structure and future development. The impact sent shockwaves through the young planet, melting its surface and blasting debris into space. The energy released by this collision was immense, causing widespread melting and vaporization of Earth's crust. The debris ejected into space formed a ring of material around the planet, a chaotic mix of rock and metal. This debris, caught in Earth's gravitational pull, coalesced to form our moon. Over time, the material in this ring began to clump together, gradually forming a new celestial body, the moon, born from the remnants of this cataclysmic event, became Earth's constant companion, influencing its tides and stabilizing its axial tilt. The moon, our constant companion in the vastness of space, is a lasting reminder of the violent beginnings that shaped our planet. Its presence has had a profound impact on Earth's development, from the stabilization of its climate to the rhythms of its tides. The story of Earth's formation and the lunar impact is a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. Following the tumultuous events of its early life, Earth began to cool. As the molten surface solidified, heavier elements like iron and nickel sank to the core, while lighter elements like silicon and oxygen rose to the surface. This process, known as differentiation, shaped the layered structure of our planet. Volcanoes erupted, spewing gases and water vapor into the atmosphere. These gases, trapped by Earth's gravity, formed the first atmosphere, a toxic mix of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other gases. As Earth continued to cool, the water vapor condensed, forming clouds that unleashed torrential rains upon the barren landscape. These rains, falling for millennia, filled the planet's basins, forming the first oceans. These vast bodies of water, covering most of the planet's surface, would become the cradle of life. Deep within their depths, in hydrothermal vents spewing heat and chemicals from the Earth's interior, the first sparks of life emerged. From fiery beginnings to the emergence of life, Earth's journey has been nothing short of epic. Join us as we continue to explore the mysteries of our planet and beyond. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to stay updated with our latest explorations.